In this video, I'm going to show you how to download shaders for Minecraft 1.21.6. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to load into the Minecraft launcher like you normally would. Once you're over here, please make sure that Minecraft Java Edition is selected. And then in the version selector, make sure you go ahead and select on latest release, which at the time of recording this video is Minecraft 1.21.6. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on play. All right, guys, and then here we are in Minecraft 1.21.6. And you actually need to load into Minecraft 1.21.6 before you start adding like mods and shaders and stuff like that but anyways after you're done with that feel free to go ahead and close out of it and from there we can proceed to the next step the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below or in the pinned comments and then it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this and this will provide all the files and also a in-depth tutorial showing you how to install shaders for 1.21.6 so we just did step number one right up here which was to load into minecraft 1.21.6 so the next thing we need to do is we need to download the iris shader loader now this will actually allow us to run shaders on minecraft crap so all we need to do is we need to look under step number two and then you will notice that we will have this link over here that does say official iris website and all we got to do is we got to go ahead and press on that link and then it is going to bring us to a page that looks like this from here please go ahead and select on download now then go ahead and select on download universal jar and while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about Simple Game Hosting. If you guys ever wanted to host your very own modded Minecraft server, Simple Game Hosting is the way to do so. Simple Game Hosting allows you to upload mod packs and mods such as Pixelmom, RL Crap, with the click of a single button. In fact, Simple Game Hosting specializes in creating modded servers. Simple Game Hosting has hundreds of different mod packs to pick from, and there's also 24-7 live customer support where you're talking to a real human being, not an AI robot. If this is something you're interested in, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. All right, guys, that's enough yapping out of me. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate the Iris installer file right over here. Now, depending on your web browser, you may be able to find it on the top right like me. But what you guys could always do is just open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads. Anyways, guys, for clarity purposes, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the Iris installer to my desktop right over here. And I personally recommend that you guys do the same. It would just make things a bit clearer throughout this process. All right, guys. So now that you're done with that, we can go ahead and proceed to the next step. So please return to the website. And now the next thing we need to do is we need to download a compatible shader pack. So there is many great websites out there. However, there is one great website linked over here called Modern. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on Modern shader category right over here. And then it is going to open up a page that looks like this. And the next thing that you guys want to do is you want to go to this left menu over here and you want to make sure you locate game version. And please make sure that 1.21.6 is actually selected right over here. So at the time of recording this video, Minecraft 1.21.6 literally came out just a couple of minutes ago. So that's why there isn't any shaders. But you know what? We still are able to use some shaders from Minecraft 1.21.5. That is perfectly OK. Again, you guys should be able to find a list of shaders over here and pick whichever one you want. The only reason why it's not showing up is because I literally am recording this video a couple minutes after the update came out so we need to give some time for these shaders to actually update so for this video we're gonna be working with complementary shaders right over here and do not worry guys this is going to be updated for minecraft 1.21.6 but anyways guys all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and select on versions then you want to go ahead and select on the most recent version make sure that 1.21.6 is actually over here in the supported version section and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just press on download again you can download any other shader you want as long as it works with 1.21.6 but guys do not worry most shaders that worked on 1.21.5 will also work on 1.21.6 so don't stress out too much if the version is not exactly correct all right, guys, so once you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and drag and drop the shader file to your desktop just like so. Then from here, we can go ahead and proceed to the next step. So let's go back to the website and let's go ahead and now install Java for jar files. So yeah, in order for shaders and the Iris installer to run, we will actually need to install Java on our system. So in order to download Java, please go to step number four. And then all you want to do is you want to hover over the Java 21 text over here, then go ahead and press on it. Once you're over here, it is going to take you to a website that looks like this. And you just want to double check that JDK21 is actually selected because we need to install Java 21 or above in order for this to work. Then from here, please go ahead and select on your operating system. So you guys can download Java for Linux, Mac OS or Windows. Me personally, I'm on a Windows, so I would personally select on this. Then go ahead and install the x64 installer and after that it is going to take you through the setup wizard and stuff like that and downloading java is just incredibly easy and intuitive it doesn't really take up too much time either 
But if you're experiencing trouble trying to download Java, then what you may need to do is run the jar fix. The jar fix is the executable file that will basically repair your Java files in your system. And even if your Java is working perfectly fine, I personally do think that it's always good to know about the jar fix in case that Java gives you issues in the future. So what you want to do is underneath step number five, you want to go ahead and locate jar fix right over here. Then you want to go ahead and press on that just like so. It is then going to go ahead and take you to a page that looks like this. And then you want to go ahead and locate this file that says jarfix.exe. And if you do press on it, then it is going to go ahead and download a command. And then that command is going to run on your computer and essentially attempt to repair all of the Java files to make sure that it is working. All right, guys, so now that you have Java, your shader and the Iris installer downloaded, we can go ahead and proceed to the next step. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your desktop just like so and just locate the iris installer right over here and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and right click on it from here please go ahead and select on open with if you did download java on your system you should now see this option that says java tm platform se binary all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on java tm platform se binary just like so then eventually a menu like this will appear. It will say Iris and Sodium and where it says select game version, please make sure that 1.21.6 is actually selected. Now where it says installation type, please make sure that Iris only is selected. Then all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and just press on install really quickly. And then there you go. It will now say completed. Once it says completed, we can go ahead and just close out of it. And now all we need to do is we need to open up the Minecraft launcher like we normally would one more time. All right, guys. So once you're here in the Minecraft launcher, please make sure that Java edition is selected. And this time I want you to go to the top menu and select over here where it says installations. And I want you to double check that where it says versions that modded is actually turned on because this is technically considered a modded version of Minecraft. So if this is not turned on, then you will not be able to see Iris and Sodium for 1.21.6. But thankfully, we do see it right over here. But what you need to do from here is you need to go ahead and look through the installations list over here and just locate Iris and Sodium for 1.21.6. Once you went ahead and located it, all you want to do is you want to go to the right and select on this folder icon that says open installation folder from here you're gonna get a bunch of folders that look like this and I know it may seem overwhelming but do not worry because the only folder that we need to go ahead and locate is the folder called shader packs so it should be right over here and if for whatever reason you don't see this folder that says shader packs you can go ahead and just right click then go ahead and press on new and then folder and then make sure to call the folder shader packs in all lowercase without any spaces but you want to go ahead and just open up this folder right over here and now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go back over to your desktop and you want to drag and drop the shaders inside of the shader packs folder so let's go ahead and do that really quickly guys it's really simple you literally just got to go ahead and drag and drop it then once you're done with that feel free to go ahead and close out of the shader packs folder go back to the minecraft launcher go to the top menu select over here where it says play make sure that iris and sodium for 1.21.6 is actually selected then go ahead and press on play go ahead and press on i understand and then go ahead and press on play one more time all right guys and then eventually your game should be loaded in and it should look something like this so you'll notice that in the bottom left it will say minecraft 1.21.6 slash fabric and now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and load into any minecraft world that you do have or you can go ahead and join a server it really is up to you for this video i'm just going to be creating a brand new world really quickly all right guys here we are in our world and now in order to actually activate our shaders we need to go ahead and select over here where it says options then go ahead and select on video settings. You will now notice that we will get a brand new menu that looks like this and we can go ahead and make some adjustments. But all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this folder that does say shader packs. Then you should be able to see the shader that we did go ahead and download in this video. So again, for our video, we did download the complimentary shaders, but obviously you should be able to go ahead and see whatever shader you did install right over here. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to go ahead and press on apply. All right, now it might take a little while, but eventually you should be able to see that your shader is actually selected. And now if we go ahead and exit out of the settings menu, you will now notice that shaders are actually running on Minecraft 1.21.6. And let me go ahead and spawn in a happy guest so that you're able to tell that it is Minecraft 1.21.6. So yep, here it is, guys. This is honestly pretty cool if you do ask me. If you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. Again, if you're interested in making a Minecraft Minecraft server for 1.21.6 then please consider checking out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments where you're able to play simple game hosting with you and all your buddies if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe see you later french fries